Hello friends, this is Pravin Pawar. In this video, we will discuss the question paper of UGCNET December 2015. This is paper 2 of Electronic Science. One thing I would like to say that you should solve at least 3 previous year papers uh, twice for uh, better preparation of any exam. So here we will discuss uh, question paper with the search solution from question number 1 to 25. Here we will start. Question number 1. A silicon node is doped with 10 to the power 16 arsenic atoms per centimeter cube. Find its Fermi level from bottom of the conduction band at room temperature 300 Kelvin when effective density of states of silicon are 2.8 into 10 to the power 19 per centimeter cube. Options are given. So you should know the formula that uh, is given here. EF minus EZ is equal to KT natural log of ND upon NC. So for temperature 300 Kelvin, this KT is 26 millivolt and ND, the donor concentration is given which is 2.8 into 10 to the power 19 per centimeter cube and uh, this uh, impurity concentration which is 10 to the power 16. So on putting these values, you can easily get the formula level, which comes approximate 0 0.206 electron volts. So correct option is 1. Now question number 2. The electron density of an n-type semiconductor is proportional to. So direct formula is given here. It's uh, proportional to exponential of EF minus EI upon KT. So correct option is 1. Question number 3. The correct expression of the following triangular wave is. So here the triangular wave is given. So we will do analysis of this. So to get this first slope. Which is y by x. So here y is uh, 1. And uh, x is t by 2. So this slope is 2 upon t. So you will get this in the first uh, term. Now this slope goes like this. Okay. Uh, if you add minus 2 by 2 in this slope, so it would be 0. And further, if you add minus 2 by 2 t in this, so it would be you will get this slope. So you will add minus 4 upon t. So you will get this second term. And uh, similarly, this slope will go like this. So to get uh, 0 here we will add in this slope 2 upon t means this term we will add at t so our correct answer is 2 now question number 4 the modulus of the following complex number is given by so to get the modulus of any complex number for example x plus i y is any complex number to get the modulus of this it would be under root of x square plus y square. So using this, you can easily get the modulus of the whole terms, which comes uh, under root 50. Now, question number 5. Which one of the below referred figure represents the cutoff of NPN or PNP transistor? So cutoff means uh, both uh, uh, junction should be in reverse biased. So, we will observe the figure. This is our NPN transistor where this is NPN and uh, this uh, if uh, this positive terminal is connected to N type substrate so and negative terminal is connected to P type substrate means this NP junction is in reverse uh, biased. Similarly, for this also it is in reverse biased. So, this figure is in shows that our NPN transistor is in cutoff. So correct option is 2. Now question number 6. The full scale output of a 10 bit digital to analog converter is 5 volt. The resolution is to get the resolution we know the formula full scale voltage upon the number of levels which is 2 to the power n where n is the number of bits which is given 10. So on solving this 5 upon 2 to the power 10 which is 1024 so 
so approximate it comes 5 millivolt so correct option is 1 now question number 7 the contents of accumulator after the execution of the following instruction will be MVI A comma A7 H the function of this instruction is move immediately the register is given which is uh, accumulator a 8 bit register and this 8 bit data it will immediately move into the accumulator here h is representing that this data is given in the hexadecimal format so a7 we will write the contents of accumulator which is a7 so in binary if we will write it a will be 1010 and 7 will be 0111 it would be logically or with the contents of accumulator that is the operation of this instruction so contents of accumulator will itself logically or with the contents of accumulator so to logically or this we will get the similar data 1010 and 0111 so why are we using this instruction here so we understand that after execution of this instruction after operation of or there is no carry generated so this instruction is used to reset the carry flag our carry flag will be zero here now next instruction rlc which is rotate the contents of accumulator left without carry so this contents of accumulator will be rotate left by one bit without carry it means this uh, will be our msb now 0 and similarly rest of the data will follow this so it would be 0 1 0 0 and 1 1 1 and this msb will now become the lsb so this is 1 and this msb will replace the carry flag so this is the operation of this instruction rlc now our contents of accumulator is 4 f so correct option is 2 next question is question number 8 the following statement of c is x minus equal to y plus 1 this is the same as so this is x is equal to x minus of y plus 1 which is equal to x minus of x minus y minus 1 so correct option is 4 next question is question number 9 pointer arithmetic cannot be performed on so the correct answer is 4 white pointer question number 10 a wave is propagated in a parallel plane waveguide if the frequency is 6 gigahertz and the plane separation is 3 cm then the cutoff wavelength for the dominant mode will be so wavelength lambda is given as 2a upon m where m is equal to 1 and a is given 3 cm so our answer is 3 into 2 which is 6 cm now question number 11 the noise density of a pink noise is proportional to so pink noise the noise density of pink noise is universally proportional to frequency so this proportion is correct answer is 1 upon f is 2 now question number 12 a high frequency signal is frequency modulated by n number of modulating signals the ideal number of sidebands in the modulated signal will be so here you know that there will be number of there will be infinite number of sidebands and most energy is stored in the sideband which is near to the center frequency so our correct answer is The material LiNbO3 which is lithium neobat is used in the manufacturing of the following device. This is very important material for used for optical waveguides and generally is used as a direct modulator. So correct option is 4. Question number 14. A 50 ohm strain gauge of a gauge factor 2 is connected to the first arm of a white stone bridge under no strain condition 
all the arms have equal resistance when the gauge is subjected to a strain the second arm resistance has to be changed to 50.5 ohm to obtain a balance the value of strain is so we know this relation that del r upon r is equal to gauge factor into strain so on putting the values we we'll get the answer this is uh, the difference in resistance which is 50 minus 50.5 minus 50 upon r is our 50 ohm gauge factor is given to and uh, here is the strain so on solving this we will get the strain is equal to 0 0.005 so correct answer is 2 now next question is question number 15 a negative feedback control system whose open loop transfer function is as feedback transfer function h of s can be replaced by a single block with transfer function so no the direct formula is there of transfer function gs upon 1 plus gs upon hs so correct option is 1 next question is question number 16 which of the following statements are correct for tunnel diode the characteristic of tunnel diode we know that it is heavily doped means uh, uh, it is uh, 1 raised to 10 to the power 3 so one impurity atom in 10 to the power 3 atom so this statement is correct very high doping in both p and n regions uh, this is also correct uh, one impurity atom in 10 to the power 8 atoms this is not correct used as a voltage control device it's also not correct so correct option is a and b so option number one is correct question number 17 Following statements are given for Laplace transforms. So, in the options, uh, the direct formula to calculate the Laplace transform is given. So, correct formula is this one B. Here, Laplace transform of the given function x of t is equal to integration between minus infinity to infinity of uh, x of t e to the power minus ht dt. So, correct option is B. This minus point, minus sign, you have to remember. Okay, now when you multiply by t, your Laplace transform is 1 upon s plus a whole square. So, correct is b and c. So, correct option is 2. Negative feedback in amplifiers improves signal to noise ratio at the output. So, negative feedback increases the SNR. Correct a is correct it increases distortion no it is this is incorrect reduces impact of offset voltage this is uh, also incorrect increases bandwidth so this is correct a and d is correct second option is correct no question number 19 cmos logic gates are preferred over ttl CMOS has lower power dissipation and high fan out. So, this is uh, correct. Needs no protection circuitry. This is not correct. Propagation delays is small as compared to DL. This is also not correct. And uh, high noise margin for higher value of PDD. This is correct. So, A and D is correct. So, correct option is 3. Question number 20. Read the following statements. The number of conditional flags in Intel's 8085 microprocessor is 5. So, we know that there are 5 flags in a flag register and uh, they are sign flag, zero flag, auxiliary carry flag, parity flag, and carry flag. So, this statement is correct. In Intel's 8085 microprocessor, RST 7.5 internal transfers execution to memory location 003CH. So, to know the vector location of any interrupter, I will give an idea, uh, 7.5 multiply by 8 and you will get uh, 60.0, okay, this is in decim decimal, convert it into hexadecimal, so to convert this, we will multiply by 16, 16 3 is 48, 60 minus 48 is uh, 12, so this is in decimal, hexadecimal of this is C. 
so 3c will give the vector location so this is correct 003c h so this one is correct intel 806 processor is a 8 bit processor available a 40 pin dip dip is a dual inline package but 8086 is a 16 bit processor okay having this is a 40 pin ic so this is not correct and uh, 16 bit processor available as a 48 pin dip this is also not correct so here correct option is a and b correct option is one now question number 21 consider the following program segment structure address so there is a structure here uh, it is initialized and structure is given so either there is a problem with the question or options are not there so I don't know the answer of this question so we'll go ahead question number 22 read the following statements the SWR is a measure of the mismatch between the load and the line so this statement is correct if the load is purely reactive SWR will be unity this is not correct it goes to infinity if it is perfectly matched the SWR is equal to infinity this is also not correct it should be zero the higher the SWR the greater the mismatch between line and load this is also correct so A and D is correct so question option 4 is correct now question number 23 read the following statements regarding a super heterodyne receiver it is suitable for most of the radio receiver applications so this is correct it is used as a FM receiver in the super heterodyne receiver the signal voltage is combined with the local oscillator voltage so this is also correct if you see the block diagram or uh, functional, functional architecture of super heterodyne receiver you will see that uh, signal voltage is combined with the local oscillator voltage the mixer output in super heterodyne receiver may be an audio signal so this is also correct it has simple circuit as compared to TRS so this is not correct so A, B and C is correct option number 4 is correct now question number 24 fiber bread grating FBG are used in the following wavelength filtering rotors yes dispersion compensators yes EDFA yes so photodetectors there is no so these three A, B, C are correct. Option number one is correct. Question number twenty-five. Read the following statements. A system that may be described in the phase variable format is always controllable. This is correct. Described in the phase variable format is never controllable. This is not correct. Described in the phase variable is always observable. This is also correct. And uh, can be described in the phase variable format is never observable. This is not correct. So A and C is correct. The correct option is three. That's all for this video. We will continue in the next video. So thank you very much. Thanks for your kind attention. Your all suggestions are most welcome. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe my channel Praveen two five four double eight. Thank you very much. All the best, friends.